be. Could we try that again and hit I'm a little harder? I'm ruler, said Yertle. Faster. And this time hit said. That makes no sense. I'm. Oh. What's wrong, honey? My Aunt Eunice is dying. I have to leave right away. Oh, poor Marge. Wait, she said I, not we. Children need me. Wagon basket for our new neighbors from Eastern Europe. Check. Not Czech, Slovenian. Check. One last thing. This is very important, Homer. The new sea. Perfect. Sometimes I forget our marriage birthday. Our anniversary. Yes, and sometimes I forget your birth anniversary. But I promise I will not watch our show without you. Thank you. Homer gets the yeses. You get to notify the utilities. Can't this wait until after she's dead? I'll be too busy grieving. Yeah, too busy grieving, I got the salt shaker. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yummy book. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Um, oh, mmm, mmm. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, wait for me! <laughs> this show you can run it. Shouldn't doing something nice for your wife feel better than this? Homer, will you read my otter stuff fan fiction? I threw it over Stephen King's fence, but it, it hit him on the head. Why Stephen King? Nobody's watching my show. Well, with the downloading and the streaming and the fact that everything else is better, now you're... How about we have a contest? Mm. Some lucky kid gets to run around a Krusty store for five whole minutes and take all the toys they want. It inspires buying. It's easy to promote, and it's the third thing someone... They're all too scary. God forgive me. Scandinavian crime dramas with full nudity without you? That nudity is story-driven. <laughs> yeah, right. But Otter's stuff is our thing. No, your thing's with us. Wow, I finally finished something. How little I mean to you. Wait! No! Married. Hmm. Enough with the rebuses. All right, I'll just grab my pillow and sleep on the couch. No, you'll sleep right now. I'm fine. <sighs> To enter our contest, write down in 15 words or less why you love me more than TV. Employees and monkeys of this network are not eligible. <laughs> Please, will you write my essay for me? What? You can't even come up with I love. You cheated on your wife, Homer. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Sweetie, everything's fine. Dad, maybe you should be become queen. Oh, go to hell. Uh, what am I gonna do? I don't know what she wants. Homer, sorry to blow my own horn. But Netflix knows your wife better. I'll do it. You, Julia, will stay with you until you are a dancer. What's my name? Homer. No, my name. Julia. And why are you here? I need to learn how to dance to get my wife back. I'll work with these guys. This man needs one-on-one -on -one help. I don't know how to tell you this, but you are a terrible dancer. Uh, it seems like you did know how to tell me that. But I'm too... <laughs> How's your toe? It doesn't matter. I don't quit, and neither do you. I'm gonna have to do something I didn't want to do. I'm bringing in my partner. Sweet Sal! Watch me. With one hand, you can lead a woman. I find that hard to- ah! 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 Most have and most be. I'm pretty heavy. No, me. Just grab my waist and hold on tight. I'm doing all the work. Uh, uh, oops. Ah! We'll work on that. Hey, hey! Dead Grandma, is that you? Oh, 
on your marks. Prepare to advance. <gasps> Commence. I don't know. Why am I wasting my time with this kid? Is he dying? Not that I know of. But then get him out of here! Mm. Marge, it's me. She's here. It was a thank you from Ralph for writing his essay. You wrote Ralph's essay too? It's called Hedging Your Bets, Boys. Radioactive Man has his famous catchphrase, Up and at him! With Adam spelled H-E-O-M in a delicious pun. Go on. While Radiation Dude has a similar but lamer catchphrase. Who's gonna play Radioactive Man? I will tell you in exactly seven minutes. Okay, here we are. Let's see why Rainier Wolfcastle should be the star. I think we should bring back Dirk Richter. Kids will want to see the original Radioactive Man. I keep telling you, he's 70. Variety. Wow, look at that ad. All right, this place must be hot. They don't need a big ad. We understand. <laughs> Students, I have an announcement. One of your favorite comic book heroes, Radio Man. Radioactive Man, stupid! Strange, I... Look behind you, Radioactive Man. The sun is exploding again. <laughs> Bart, why are you talking like that? Yeah, and who the hell are you talking to? Marge, do you have other men in this house? Radioactive Man. Y'all? Wow! You mean you were one of the original Little Rascals? Yeah. Which one were you? The ugly one? Just start making movies. Mo? Mo? Oh no, my favorite Aggie! Local merchants can be forgiven for raising their prices a little. Mo? Don't make me do this. I don't want to be an actor. Nonsense. You're going to be great. Now take off those glasses so they can see your beautiful... What's for lunch tomorrow? Next. Chicken necks. We're never going to find... Wait a minute. That child has the exact qualities we're looking for. He's perfect. What is his name? I don't know. Fantastic. One more time. Watch out, radioactive man! Congratulations, Bart Simpson! You're our new Fallout <gasps> Boy! That's what I'd be saying to you if you weren't an inch too short. Next! Oh, I only grew half an inch. I'm still too short. Growing half an inch in one day is still pretty good, Bart. Ladies and gentlemen, meet America's new Fallout Boy! <laughs> out of the way. Millhouse, baby! Living in the fast lane. What if I'm not a success? How will you pay for all this? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, son. I'm wearing a jacuzzi suit. Ugh. Hmm. Like the religious people suck up to God. Guess what, kids? They're gonna pay us $50 a day to film some of the movie here. Uh, we'll run that cable through here. Mr. Simpson? You've got to give me the part of Crispy the Clown! I'm sorry, you're wrong for the part. But look at my range! Up and at em. Up and at them. Up and at em. Up and at them. Up and at em! Up and at them! Hey, you're not Millhouse. No, I'm just Millhouse when he gets hurt. Oh. Okay, let's get the real Millhouse over here under the X-ray truck. Them. Thanks for the help, mysterious stranger. Say, I think those x-rays gave me superpowers. And cut! 
That was perfect. Let's do it again. Usually we just tape a bunch of cats together. You guys work in a movie? You're saying we're not working. Oh, I always wanted to be a teamster. So lazy and surly. You mind if I relax next to you? Oh, here he comes. What is it now, Quimby? Nothing, nothing. Only the uh, city has just passed another tax on a puffy directing pants. But I don't wear puffy. I had to get up at 5 a.m. just for makeup. I like the way the blush brings out my cheekbones, but it's not worth it. And making movies is so horribly repetitive. I've said Jiminy Jilliker. Yeah. Ah. Ugh, I can't believe Silly Zayla beat us both up and imprisoned. This is the hardest, most expensive scene in the movie, and we only get one shot at it, so we have to do it right. Fallout Boy will untie Radioactive Man and pull him to safety moments before he's hit. Only Fallout Boy can save me now. Where's Fallout Boy? <laughs> Fallout Boy? Uh. That one shot cost us a million dollars. Where's the producer? I want to talk about this coffee. Complete the film with Admiral House. <laughs> Watch. Looks like we're in trouble, Fallout Boy. Jiminy Jellicker. Find Millhouse, or will they find him and kill him? Well, they'll. When they find him, they'll um. Um 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 um. Flash him. Hooray! Yo, Doctor S, have you seen Millhouse today? No. Okay. Back. I'm not cut out to be a star. But Millhouse, being a star is every patriotic American's dream. Not mine. It's a sham, Bart. You get up on that movie screen pretending to be... Want results? You have to go to the Schwarzeneggers, the Stallones, and to a lesser extent, the Van Dams. <laughs> Mickey Rooney! Can't quit this movie. I've seen your work. It's good. Very, very good. Van Johnson good. I know I'm good. Movie stardom is just so hollow. No! All right, I tried. Fortunately, we have a perfectly good fallout boy right here. Jiminy Jellickers! Jiminy Jellickers! They just wanted to tell a story, a story about a radioactive man, and you slick small-towners took them for all they were worth. Hmm. <laughs> we know you don't have any more money left, but that doesn't matter. Just take whatever you need from our boutiques until you can get back on your 